All right, so we are diving in deep today and we're gonna talk about this because this is something that happens all the time where people really confuse what they think acting as if is versus living from the end. And I see them not really understanding what that means. So I'm here to clear all of this up. Hey everyone, it's Kim Velez, Conscious Life and Success Coach and Licensed Mental Health Therapist. Okay, so don't laugh. <laughs> but for some reason, when I moved into this new apartment, I guess because it's so spacious in this room, I don't know, but my lapel microphone was not picking up the sound, which is why my audio has not been the best for months. Um, and anyway, so... I bought this new microphone thinking, okay, this is right in front of my face, like this will work, and it's not picking up the sound, so I don't understand what's going on. So then what I did is because the lapel mic works, it just wasn't picking it up on my collar, I clipped it on top of this microphone, so at least I have some decent audio for this um this video and I'm going to have to figure something else out in the next couple days. So anyways, let's jump in. And before I do real quick, I just wanted to share that with you. But before I do, if you feel like you need added support, I have how to manifest your SP back and get them for good online course. I also have a paid Facebook group that's 30 bucks a month. I pop in there live every um, twice a week and I do live Q&A and just kind of motivational rants and explaining things like everyone as you push out law of assumption and things like that in there every week. And I also have a free secure girl podcast as well as a free paid, sorry, a free group in Facebook called live a limitless life. Everybody supports each other in there. It's a really good group. And last but not least, I also have email coaching available. So if you're interested in that, the links are all in the description box below, or you can go to my website, www.kimvelez.com. I've updated everything except there are some courses on there that I'm redoing. So if you try to click and buy them, I'm not gonna allow you. You don't have access to it because I'm going to revamp them. And then if you want them, you can have them. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between acting as if versus living from the end. And my goodness, this took me, like it. people don't really understand. I see so many comments and things in my Facebook group as well as YouTube where I think people are still kind of brainwashed from the law of attraction community about acting as if, and they're confusing that, thinking that if you act as if, then you're living from the end. So let's clear it up. So I'm gonna share with you my interpretation of what both are and where I think people get confused. So when you're living from the end, what you're doing is you're creating a story in your mind that is favorable and only thinking thoughts and beliefs and assumptions and attitude and perspective that you have the wish fulfilled, that you have everything that you desire. So there isn't a searching for lack. There aren't thoughts that would oppose you and go against you living from the end. So if you entertain a story of, you know, I have my SP back or I have all this money, then you would not be living in your mind and thinking thoughts such as they don't love me, they don't want me, I'm never going to hear from them again. Like, no, that doesn't go with living from the end. And you wouldn't have a story with your money, like I'm broke and I can't pay my bills because that's not you thinking and living from the end in your mind because you're creating your reality inside your mind. Your thoughts create your reality. So you always want to hold the story in your mind that is, uh, is as if you have what you want. Okay. Now, what I see people doing with acting as if, and I'm not saying everyone does this, I'm just saying here's the way I see it confused by certain people, is people think like, oh, if I want a new person in my life or my SP to come back, then I will you know, clean out half of my closet and leave the space empty for them to move in. I, you know, Things like that. Now, here's the thing. You can do that um, but if all day long you are entertaining a story in your mind that you're not going to get what you want, that people don't love you, that relationships are hard, that this person's not coming back, like you have this whole negative spin, you're not going to manifest the kind of relationship you want in your reality just by 
cleaning out half your closet and making space for them. Now, if you make space for them and you do that, and you entertain a story in your mind, like I'm getting the love of my life, I'm so happy, I love this relationship, right? You're living from the end, so that will manifest, but you're not manifesting because you cleared out half your closet space. You're manifesting because of the story you're telling yourself about why you're clearing out the closet space. So you wanna pay attention to that because I see a lot of comments where you know, people, so let's, let's tackle this topic when it comes to manifesting SPs, because I think people confuse this again as well. So a lot of times people ask if I'm trying to manifest my SP back, but I want to date others in the interim is, should I do that? Should I not do that? And a lot of times people will comment back, not coaches per se, but just like people that are just sharing their opinion and feedback. And they'll say to them, well, if you're living from the end, you wouldn't date someone else. So I wanna nip that right in the bud. So first and foremost, you should never, ever, 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 ever put your life on hold while you're waiting for any manifestation to come into your 3D. So whether it's a person, it's a job, it's money, whatever it is, if you wanna manifest you know, losing weight, releasing weight, you, you would not put your life on hold. You need to be living your best life because you only got one, my friend. So it isn't about the manifestation is you know, the end all be all the holy grail. It's, no, I'm creating my best life possible. I wanna manifest anything and everything. There are no limits for me, as I'm understanding everyone as you pushed out in law of assumption. So in the interim, until this fully manifests into my 3D, I'm gonna be living my best life the best way that I possibly can. And a lot of times people, so if you wanna date while you're waiting for your SP to come back in, you certainly can. It is not going to mess up your manif manifestation. In fact, I have dated many different times before SPs came back or why, you know, when they weren't in my life and I was dating, living my best life, having a blast. So if you want to date, you can date. That has nothing to do with you living from the end. It's your dialogue that you repeat to yourself over and over, the state that you dwell in the most in your mind of what you want to manifest if you will manifest that. That is what creates your reality. Your thoughts create your reality, not you going on dates or not going on dates. So I do suggest though for people, because a lot of times people, they feel lonely and they just want attention and validation. So they tend to jump in too quick and date fast just so they have someone validating them and giving them attention. If that's you, then I would suggest not doing that um, because you're just going to manifest and create the same experience just with someone new because you're not doing changing your thoughts about your self-concept as well as your person that you want to manifest in. But if you're just someone who's like, you know what, I got this, like why not have fun? It'll be fun just to meet new people and have different experiences and get dressed up and, and go out with friends or go out on dates with people and just live my best life knowing that my person's coming back in, like no harm, no foul. Then knock your socks off, like go have fucking fun because that is not gonna block your manifestation coming in, I promise you, I guarantee you. So that's where people get it confused. It's almost like people think like, they have to be acting all day long as if they're married or if they're in a relationship, if they're not in a relationship. Well, no, you don't. You just have to maintain your thoughts around your SP as well as yourself and relationships that it's favorable, that you're constantly fixating and focusing on a story that is you living from the end that, yeah, they love me. Yeah, they're, they're coming back any second now. Of course they are. They know how amazing I am. They know the connection we have. We get along so well. I'm their perfect perfect fit. They can't think about anyone else but me. They only have eyes for me, you know, whatever, right? You just go on and on and on. You create this story of how they see you, how you see them, and then how you feel about yourself. Yes, I am good enough to have a relationship. Fuck yeah, I'm that dope and amazing that they want to be with me. So that's, that's living from the end. You don't have to put a fake wedding ring on. You don't have to sit there and, you know, clear out half your closet. Some people go as far as to do something with the other side of their bed. I don't really know. You don't have to do any of that shit. I promise you. All you have to do is create the story in your mind that serves you, that gets you what you want, that says you're, you have what you want, and you persist in that until it manifests, and that is what has to manifest. So acting as if 
is very similar to living in the end. The law of attraction community uses the terminology acting as if, and in a lot of ways, it was very similar to living from the end. It's, you wanna think like you're rich. You wanna think like you're in love already. You wanna think like you have your SP back in your life. You wanna think like you're already in a relationship, right? Who is the version of you? How would you think? How would you feel? What would you be doing if you had this in your life? So like people with money, if you want more money, well, what would you be doing with this money? Well, think about it, focus on it, live in it, create those experiences in your mind. If you'd shop more, then pull up your phone and and go browse all the things you're gonna buy. You know, if you wanna look at new houses because you have more money, then start looking at new houses online. Like, this is how you are creating the story in your mind that you have what you want. So there's nothing wrong with that. So I do think acting as if in the law of attraction community is very similar to living from the end. I just think people twist it and misinterpret it as will happen because we're all humans and we all see things different and hear things different and take different perspectives on things. So again, it doesn't matter though. You wanna pay attention really on what you're thinking and what you're focusing on more so than what you're doing. Because again, you can you know sit there all day long and clean out that closet and wear a fake wedding ring if, if it floats your boat, do you, whatever you wanna do. I don't suggest that, but I'm just saying if that's something you wanna do. But again, if your story in your mind all day is that I'm not gonna get what I want, they don't want me, nobody loves me, this sucks, it's too hard, well then that, that you're not gonna manifest what you want. Your inner world is what creates your outer world. So it doesn't matter how many closets you clean out, if your inner world is not dwelling and residing in the reality that you have the end result or you're moving in that direction, you're affirming that story that's in your favor, it won't manifest or you'll get a partial manifestation and it's not going to last because your story is not on point. The mental diet is the most important. The mental diet is the most important. It's the one that is overlooked and Neville talks about it so much about, you know, inner conversations and with everyone as you pushed out. So you cannot ignore your mental diet. So acting as if does not mean I pretend that I have money and I go spend, you know, $10,000 on this or that when I can't afford it, or I go rack up credit card debt because if I'm rich, I'd be shopping anyways. Well, that's not going to manifest what you want, my friend. What's going to manifest? So don't do that. What is going to manifest you uh, manifesting or creating more money in your life is to change your story about money. You have a negative story, a limited story that you keep persisting in and marinating over and over in your mind and keep affirming that says you don't have this. So you just have to change it and you persist in it until it manifests. So I hope this kind of cleared up any misconceptions because people do get this twisted. So you can date while you're waiting for your SP, I just say don't date if you're because you feel desperate and lonely because that's how is that you changing your inner story about who you are? Because your concept of self, if you have your SP back in your life, are you going to be feeling desperate and lonely? Hopefully not. <laughs> so then you want to change your concept of self, you know, but you do that from within. It's not seeking something without. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.